And checking in on the tropics, still watching the wave uh, that's now nearing the central Atlantic. Uh, that's up to a 60% chance of development in the next seven days. That will make a uh, northwesterly, northwesterly curve uh, into the open Atlantic there. We may see this become a depression by early next week, and we'll have to deal with some wind shear initially, but that should slack off and uh, may allow this to develop into a tropical system. Meanwhile, a couple of other areas highlighted the stormy area here right over the Florida Peninsula and the area that they're uh, down near Central America. Both of those have a little to no chance of developing, but they are being highlighted on the National Hurricane Center's website. So a reminder, as we head into August next week, that is when we statistically begin to see uh, that tropical activity climb. Our peak is on September 10th, so from August uh, through late September, early October is when we typically see most of our tropical activity, so we'll have to keep an eye on things. Meanwhile, the heat ridge continues over a huge portion of the country. Uh, we've got 90s all the way through the upper Midwest and central uh, Midwest or central plains there and uh, we have 99 out at AEX and hundreds all the way out to Salt Lake City, Vegas, Phoenix and uh, even New York City in the low 90s today. So it is hot uh, just about everywhere and our heat ridge here uh, going to continue through the weekend and actually strengthen into early next week. We will be right uh, on top of that or right underneath that uh, as uh, we head into the middle to later part of next week. So uh, our heat is not going anywhere. We will have some occasional rain chance is that we do have high pressure at the surface. Uh, those winds out of the south bringing that moisture in. So a few spotty showers are out there today. Uh, more off to our east where there's a bit of a, a, a weakness in the atmosphere. But uh, as we head into the weekend, we are looking at at least the possibility of a stray shower or two. Temperatures tight, low to mid 70s area wide, then highs tomorrow again, returning to the upper 90s around 100 degrees. Uh, so uh, we're looking at triple digits again, likely Saturday, Sunday, and actually for uh, our entire extended forecast. Uh, we are up to an average high of 94, which is our highest average high of the year. Uh, so we're entering now our climatologically hottest part of the summer. Uh, so we've got uh, still got to get over the hump here as we get into August. Uh, we already have a heat advisory in effect uh, just for Catahoula and Concordia Parish tomorrow for a heat index up to 110. Looks like across most of the area, our heat index tomorrow will be up to about 105 uh, to 108 or so. Uh, but once we get into Sunday and much of next week, uh, we're likely to see more heat advisories issued. Uh, rain chances tomorrow, uh, a widespread 10% uh, for a stray shower or two during the p.m. hours. Uh, so going into this evening, mainly clear skies. Uh, tomorrow, more sunshine to start out the day. Uh, once we get into the afternoon, again, we could see a stray shower or two. That'll be about it, though, and then we'll do it all again here as we go into Sunday as well uh, with sunshine to start the day and just a stray shower or two possible. So playing in for your Saturday, playing on low 90s here by by noon, feeling more like 100 degrees out there. Winds out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So, uh, looking ahead to the next seven days, as you can see, uh, not a lot of change. It looks like we're going to have 100s here for the entire seven day forecast. And uh, by Sunday, Monday time frame, our heat index back up uh, into that 110 to 115 degree range.